main question we are addressing in the lab is how cells grow. We are specifically interested in understanding how a change in cell volume affects cell growth. So when a cell undergrows a certain stress, it shrinks in its size or it may also expand. So we would like to understand how this mechanism is regulated from a molecular point of view. Plasma membrane tension is now recognized as a major cell signal that regulates various cellular processes, including tumor genesis, embryogenesis, and wound healing. However, how a cell manages to maintain a constant plasma membrane tension remains unknown and is the focus of our work. We already know that there's two protein complexes that control cell growth, Tor complex one and Tor complex two. Tor complex one controls cell volume and Tor complex two sits directly at the plasma membrane, making it a very good candidate for the regulation of membrane tension. If we want to study plasma membrane tension, we first need a user-friendly tool, a bit like a probe if you want, to be able to directly measure uh, this parameter. And here is um, where the NCCR chemical biology played a very important role by seeding and catalyzing a multidisciplinary collaboration. Altogether, we could synthesize a new molecule uh, that we call FLIPTER, and this molecule is actually a um, fluorescent molecule that can directly integrate into the plasma membrane of the cell where it can sense plasma membrane tension because once integrated into the plasma membrane between lipid molecules, any change in the tension of the membrane will affect the structure of the probe and in turn affect uh, its fluorescent properties. This is very useful because now we can directly uh, visualize change in plasma membrane tension by using a microscope. Then we used a model organism, the Baker's yeast, to uh, study change in plasma membrane tension when we would manipulate the activity of TOC2. So we took our yeast cell, we injected the probe and we went to the microscope. We could actually show that TOX2 activity was proportional uh, to plasma membrane tension. Namely, if you increase plasma membrane tension, TOX2 activity will increase, and if you decrease plasma membrane tension, TOX2 will be inactivated. We went a bit further, especially in the case of a drop in plasma membrane tension, and we could show that in that case there is a reorganization of the lipid molecules within the plasma membrane. In particular, a special lipid a reduced tribute uh, inside the membrane to form islets where TOC2 concentrates and is inactivated. The next step is to reproduce these findings in mammalian cells. We know that these mechanisms are highly conserved from unicellular organisms such as yeast to multicellular organisms including humans. Cancer cells are known to have higher plasma membrane tension than regular cells. Therefore, our understanding of the molecular signaling pathways of plasma membrane regulation can lead to early detection of cancer in patients.